Hello, dear friends. I'm Father Jan Stefanov, SVD, and I'm working for the Catholic Biblical Federation. Greetings from Rome. Let me share with you the reflection of today's readings based on our Lectio Youthnet Biblical Service. The liturgy of this Sunday calls for a reflection on the theme of God's invitation to His people, an invitation to draw close to their God. It also indicates the required response to this divine call. The Gospel contains Jesus' parable that employs the image of a wedding banquet given by a king for his son. Many were invited to this feast, but shockingly, they not only rejected the invitation, but even killed some of the king's servants. While rejection of king's invitation is an insult, killing his servants is an act of open rebellion. Undoubtedly, Jesus applied this parable to his own life when he, the king's son, was rejected by the leaders of his nation. In the past, many of God's servants, the Old Testament prophets, were mistreated and even executed. Those to whom the invitation was initially issued were undoubtedly good people worthy of such honor. Yet their own response made them unworthy of it in the end. Their indifference to the king's invitation and preoccupation with their own affairs led them to be excluded from the feast. Subsequently, the mistreatment of the king's servants came as the most drastic expression of their rejection of the king and his son. In contrast to those originally invited, those eventually brought into the feast came from a variety of backgrounds, from the streets, being both good and bad. There were no preconditions for their welcome. However, they differed from the original group in that they accepted the invitation. More importantly, they must have taken the invitation seriously, since with the exception of one man, they wore appropriate clothing. There was only one man who did not put on a proper wedding robe. In the context of the parable, it seems most likely that this was a participant who accepted the invitation but then did not take it seriously. He serves as the illustration of what the statement many are called by few are chosen means. Jesus, the King's Son, came with an open invitation to everybody, regardless of who and where they are in life. Many are called. Yet only those who respond to this invitation adequately will be able to enter the Kingdom of God which Jesus came to initiate. God sends out invitations to humanity on a daily basis in many ways, calling us to respond to different calls, whether to repentance or to act justly and lovingly to those whom we have offended, or to take time to worship and give thanks. The ultimate call of God is to a relationship of love and companionship that transforms us to be channels through which God can reach out to our broken world and to many people who are seeking to know God's love. God invites us to listen and respond in ways that transform our lives and make us into agents of transformation in our communities. How we are responding to God's invitation.